Hello everyone, right, so we've popped down to Colton Town as it is non-league day and we've popped down here, they're playing Stockton, me and Nigel so Hello mate Hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> so Nigel's come down, he's going to do a Q&A in the bar for them and uh, give them that support there's a few other faces down there. Johnny uh, Owen, is it? Johnny, Johnny Owen. From yeah, Talk yeah Sport, from yeah. Talk Sport. He's here. There's a couple of ex Forest players down here as well. It's non league day. Everyone should be out supporting their non league clubs. And we certainly have come up to our friends here at Colton Town and they're playing Stockton. And Nigel, are you ready for your QA, mate? Yes, I'm looking forward to it. There's a few Stockton fans of mine. Who is the DJ? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be back in fun. the days. You'll get to see that anyway uh, a little bit later on in the blog. So we'll catch you all later and uh, hope you're at your non league game. If not, hope you enjoy this. Au revoir for now. We'll Sammy. catch up with you in a minute. <laughs> Colton come into this game off the back of an amazing four straight away wins, taking them out of the relegation zone. Stockton come into the game in third place and looking very strong for the playoffs. So Nigel's just about to start doing his Q and A, so I'm going to pop in there and let's see how he gets on. Games this season, we've we've had a special guest. Uh, we've with two of the guys here are actually watching the game today. We've got Ian Story Moore in the house, who's been the guest. Hello, Ian. Good to see you again. And uh, here, uh, one of our special guests last season, who's uh, here to support on League Day. I'm delighted to say, Talk Sports Johnny Owen is in the building. Hi, Johnny. So uh, we've got these guys who came to support us and they're, they're still coming back for more. But today's guest, I think it's his first journey down to here. Uh, I'll probably be a boo in a minute when I tell you that, uh, first of all, the first bit will be all right when I say he played 221 appearances, mainly on the wing for Watford and scored 41 goals. He also played for... Derby County. <laughs> 76 appearances and 10 goals. Please give a massive Colton Town and Stockton welcome to our special guest today, Nigel Callahan, everybody. <laughs> Callie, welcome. Uh, I've, I've, uh, it, uh, proper football here today. I know you're regular on that, and I've, I've been. Uh, Honoured to be the guest on the show a couple of times, as has uh, Boatsy, although Boatsy's signal normally goes down yeah. when, he's, when he's on the show, so I don't think he's actually quite been on it really, has he? No. But uh, fantastic of you to travel down today and support us for, for uh, non league day. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about Watford, I'd like to talk to you about England, because I know you had some su success with England under 21s. Where do you want to start? Watford? Graham Taylor? Yeah. Fire away. <laughs> Go on then. Uh, <laughs> I mean, was, was, would he be the best manager you played under? He was, uh, he was certainly strict um, and he, he put the club on the map. Uh, the one thing you knew with Graham was uh, he would make you a better player. Definitely. Um, he's, uh, he's very, very keen on uh, you know, standards and stuff like that. You knew where you stood with him. Uh, and he brought a lot of success to Watford. Uh, uh, in terms of going back to your career, you must have played uh, with some great players. Who were the, the best players you played with? Who, who stood out for you as uh, the, the, the teammates and the ones you played against, that type of thing? Yeah, probably, um, I mean, at Watford, obviously, I'm going to say John Barnes, uh, Luther Blissett, good player. Uh, probably at Derby, the, the player that I really got on well with and had good understanding of was, was uh, Dean Saunders. And going to Villa, you know, the most naturally two-footed player I've ever played with is Gordon Counts. Um, he was unbelievable. Uh, so, I played with some good players. The best player I've ever played against uh, on the pitch, without a doubt, Kenny Dalglish. You know, I played, played against him a few times. And the guy was a genius. Well, that was a great Q&A there from Nigel, but the game's uh, ready to kick off. Stockton uh, about to kick off the game. Uh, and fair to say, they probably come out of the starting blocks. Uh, and as you'll see through the few clips of the game that I've got in the first half, uh, they put Colton under tremendous pressure in the first 25 minutes. <laughs> Six shots! 
Well, the constant pressure from Stockton uh, for the majority of the first half has resulted in a penalty for Stockton Town. Uh, in all fairness, Colt no uh, been coming back into it lately in the second half. But uh, yeah, this is the penalty. To keep getting a bit of talking to. Don't do this. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, a little bit of a step there, but yeah, he makes it 1 0 Stockton Town. To be fair, first half, they deserve it to be 1 0 up. Well, that's it. That's the first half over. 1-0 to Stockton Town. Uh, I must admit, I did do a little bit of a video during the half-time, which went absolutely dreadfully wrong. But uh, what we'll do now while they're in the change room having their pep talks, look at look, look, they're trying to get in on the camera there. But anyway, fair play to the lad. Um, we're going to trot off. Uh, right, folks, so, uh, half-time, as we said, this is Paul. Now, Paul travels all the way up from Dorking quite regularly to follow Carlton Town, don't you, mate? I certainly do, and Gary, you, yeah. And you, you've taken a few other games, you've taken a bit of Dorking yeah. Wanderers. I go Dorking, I've uh, watched Carlton away, went to Carlton up at Sheffield, um, you know, but um, since Carlton went into Northern Prem East um, and all their travelling sort of North Eastern clubs, not so easy to get away. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll get, I'll get to games when I can. So, it's a big day today, non-league day, where Absolutely. people should celebrate it Absolutely, and everything yeah. else. Yeah. And obviously, all right, I know Colton have come off the back of four away wins, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, and a draw at Sheffield, yeah. Five unbeaten on the Five trot, unbeaten yeah. on yeah. the uh, Obviously, Stockton today looked very strong side, yeah. third in the league. Exactly. Uh, dominating, uh, I'd say, the first half hour, but I see Colton now coming back into yeah. it. Yeah, so, had a chance just for half time, cut on to equalise, but um, yeah, Stockton is probably a different proposition to the um, the teams they've been playing in recent weeks. Yeah, Mark, what would you say to anyone who who what, looking to maybe get involved with the non league scene and watch their local clubs? Is disenfranchisement with some of the elite football these? What would you say to someone? You well, get a lot out of it. It's a you? connection there. It's connection. It's coming down. It's being with your mates. It's the camaraderie. It's just everything, isn't it? It's not corporate. It's just, it's just a great day out. You know, you, you, you're amongst friends. You know, it, it's all very sort of close. Um, yeah. It's, you know, it's, um, yeah, it, 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 it's a great day out, really. Yeah. No, it, it's brilliant. what it's all about. And, uh, you know, uh, driving past Notts County today. You yeah, know, full house. You know, full house, Notts yeah. County today. You know, um, Carlton got a, a few on the back of Forest not being playing today. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I see quite a good following from Stockton down. Yeah, they have, yeah. Thanks, yeah, a lot of middle lads here, yeah. But non-league football people, it's non-league football day today. Yeah. I'm not going to hold you up anymore. I'm going to let you go back to your pint. Thanks, Gary. Which you can actually have while you're watching the game. Bear yeah. that in mind, exactly everyone. you're right. <laughs> but, no, been a pleasure. Thank you for your time, Thanks, mate. Gary. appreciate Cheers. it. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. Right, I, uh, so I'm with Johnny from TalkSport. Um, you come up here quite often, don't you? I do, yes. I, uh, I'm a, a good friend of Gary Clark, who uh, is obviously works Sat at the, next year. Absolutely, yeah. Works at the football club. There's a fantastic job. Oh, brilliant, isn't it? Uh, superb. I'm a massive fan of non-league football. I grew up watching Merthyr Town. That's my local town. So I, uh, I'm, I'm a massive fan of going to support your local club. Uh, and I love coming up here. It's a wonderful vibe. All the people here today have been fantastic. Yeah. Cool beers watching the football, nothing better. Yeah, it's brilliant. And yeah. it's non-league day today as well. It is, yeah. So it's all about celebrating non-league football. Yeah. And, and I think just down the road here, Notts County got a full house, which is brilliant to see in non-league football. Um, but yeah, it, the, the non-league scene, People are beginning to move over it more and more. I think, you know, there is disillusionment with the, the, the sort of elite football, as I call it. 
I'm not the biggest fan of it, by the way. But um, obviously, lots and lots of people started to turn and support their local club. The local clubs need that support, don't they? They really do. Because they don't get the big sponsorship money. They rely on getting people through the door and everything else. So it's um, a brilliant day to support them. But um, Stockton have come down with quite a few fans, haven't they? Today? Yeah, they've got a few in the house. And you're right, I mean, not me for Long old journey. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's a long way to go. Um, but, you know, you've got a pint. I'm a pint watching the game. Get much better than that, does it? No, no, and you can take that out, stand yeah, there and exactly. watch it. We, we mentioned this pool earlier. There's Paul who you see earlier, <laughs> but it's really good. It's really good to see you, Johnny Daniels. Yeah, thank you very much. Football. Okay, folks, so I'm joined by Ian, who used to play for Forest back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, six, late 60s, late 60s, early 70s. 60s, early 70s. Yeah, yeah. And that I've been told an absolute Forest legend. Yeah, thank you. And I've seen, to be fair, some of the reaction of some of the people in here. They were like beaming the fact yeah. you were here. Yeah. Amazing that you come down, it's non-league football day. It's amazing you come down and help support the local grassroots clubs because they're so important for football. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I used to be the, um, when I finished football, I was the manager at uh, Burton Albion when they were, okay. the, were non-league then and yeah. uh, they've done remarkably well since. And then after that, I went to a little club called Shepshire Charterhouse, who okay. uh, were non-leagues. Well, so yeah, I know what non-leagues all about. But uh, generally, and you know, on a Saturday um, when they're playing, of course, at home, I would go to Forest, where I played yeah, there for yeah, ten years, yeah. and um, uh, either Burton Albion because of the uh, my connection with Burton Albion, Albion, a big friend of the the chairman and the owner. So. I try and support those two. And, and a great story, Burton Albion. Like you say, non league and oh, getting up into the, well, the yeah. leagues. Oh, they've done remarkably well. And, um, you know, they, as you say, I think they came, well, as, you, as you quite rightly said, they came through the non league structure. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, they've, they've got, they actually had one season in the um, the championship. They did. Uh, yeah. I think they had one season where they stayed, and the next season they got relegated. So uh, they're in the, um, the first division now. And probably that's, that's right, where. Yeah. You know, the need to be really, yeah, you know, yeah. in terms of the gates they get. But, yeah. uh, you know, if they can hold their own in that, um, uh, at that level, they'll do remarkably well because they don't get the best of gates. And, um, yeah. you know, it's run on, uh, I mean, I know the chairman well and he, he keeps a tight ship. So, uh, you know, they do well. They do, do really well indeed. Lo lo a lovely little ground, lovely people that are running it. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely brilliant. Well, look, thanks for your time. You're very welcome. And, and brilliant coming down to support. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And well, I know, I know the owner here, Mick, and, uh, yeah. you know, got to know quite a number of people Good. that uh, involved with the club and as I say on the occasions that Forrester away or and Burton I always come down here oh, and fantastic. give them some support yeah. that's absolutely fantastic thank you so okay, much you're welcome my thank pleasure you. No cheers problem. okay so second half getting underway just waiting for that whistle off we go second half like I say uh, Colton Town were definitely coming back into the game towards the back end despite that penalty. Yes, and in all fairness, as the game progresses in the second half, Colton Town proper knocking on the door for an equaliser. A bit blowy here today as well. Obviously, the pitch has had a lot of rain, which has probably levelled the game a little bit. Colton Town faithful there. They follow them over land and sea. So, free kick here at the moment. And that's my mistake, it's a throw in. Silly old me. In a bar, yeah. Oh, that's close. But well, that pretty much sums up the second half. It's been a game of two halves, really. Uh, Stops him absolutely dominating the first half. Can't coming back into it. Uh, about sort of 15 minutes into the second half. But that's uh, me missing a goal. <laughs> Typical me. There's a celebration though, folks. Yeah, that's Stockton going 2-0 up. Pretty much wrapping the game up at the end there. Carlton Town doing all the pushing. And maybe leaving themselves a bit vulnerable at the back there. But who blames them for giving it a go? 
So, 2 0 Stockton. And that's it, that's the end of the game. 2 0 to Stockton. Uh, on non-league day. What a great day and what a credit Carlton Town have been with all the entertainment they've laid on. We're going to have a little wander now see if we can get a couple more interviews before we end our day. Uh, so speak to all. Okay, so I'm with Tom, manager of Carlton Town FC. Um, not the result you possibly wanted today, but I'm just going to take you back a little bit, maybe four or five games back, yeah. when, let's be honest, you did an interview that... At, Actually, I think you were resolutely looking light down. And you've come off the back of five undefeated away games, wasn't it? Because you'd got a draw as well. Definitely yeah. four wins Something on the bounce yeah, yeah. away from home. You played to start home against Stockton, who were third in the league. Yeah. They came out very, very strong. Mm -hmm. But you boys come back into it. Yeah. What's the magic been? Because this has got to be one of the most dramatic turnarounds in football this season. <laughs> um I can't say it's hard work because genuinely, genuinely, we've all worked really hard all season. Um, we bought a couple in, which has helped. Um, but I, I think confidence is everything. You know, um, we were unlucky to lose to North Shields down here on that Saturday, and then we went to Eburn and beat them. And all of a sudden, you could feel the camp were different. You know, we're, we're not wizards. We we ain't got the the secret code to football management because if we did then we'd win every game um, but I think me and Mark experienced stuff enough to know that this is a good squad and yeah. even losing them games we kept saying this is a good squad you have and you've yeah. sprinkled some magic ingredient from somewhere <laughs> mate you know because let's face it you know managers take the brunt of it and normally yeah. lose their jobs you guys have stood your ground, you've come out and look, you're, you're out of the relegation zone. At the minute, yeah. And you're looking strong in my view. That was a good game today. Yeah. You held your own against one of the top sides. Yeah. I think experience holds. I mean, I wouldn't, I would not have liked to have had the run we've had this season when I was 37, 38. <laughs> yeah. uh, really, because it's hard. It really is hard. But as you get older, and hopefully, wiser, you do know that if you're on the right track, you've got to keep doing the same things, you know. Yeah. And that's what we're doing at the minute. And, uh, and I've said it and everyone I've interviewed, it's non-league non day today. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, what can I say, mate? You, amazing turnaround and probably one of the best of the season in football. Uh, you can be bottom of the league and then win four on the bounce. And like I say, I think the fifth game away was a draw. Yeah. So, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, we had a right go at it today. I mean... You know, it was 1-0, they're a good side, uh, but I really thought we were banging on the door. We actually, you were? I think we actually went four or five up front in the end, because that's us, you know, we're not happy to lose 1-0, and we got suckered at the end by mistake, yeah. and that happens. But, you know, at least we've been competitive. At times we've been as good as them, because they are a very, very good side. I fancy them very, in the playoffs, yeah, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, I know where has gone up, but... You know, if I had a tip in the playoffs, I think they'd be the ones because they've got dangerous players as well. Yeah. And um, I thought, yeah, we were in it right up to the last couple of minutes, weren't yeah. we? So. I'm, I'm fairly sure Worksop's budget has helped them go up, let's be <laughs> honest. But listen, mate, you're a credit to non-league football. Thank you very much. And you're a credit to Carlton Town. Cheers. Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Best. Right, OK, so I'm with Alex, who's just rejoined Carlton Town from Milkston Town. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah. Joined uh, be three weeks ago now. Uh, yeah, left about... Three weeks ago, it's my fifth game today. Yeah. So you're the magic ingredient. <laughs> well, not today, unfortunately. No, um, they're but, good, but they're a good side, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, they're very effective what they do. Like I say, pitch is very difficult for both sides, but they were they were good at what they did. They turned the ball. They were sharp in, uh, in forward areas. Back four was strong. So, but that's why they're up there. Um, so yeah, they're, no, they're absolutely. Really like yeah. the, you know, again, at first they come out so strong. Yeah. In that first half, yeah. and then you got into it towards the end of the second yeah, half. Yeah, I think. And I, had a great second yeah, half I thought. Uh, fair play to them they started really well put us on the back foot for 20 25 minutes so but then we started to get a little bit of a foothold probably didn't want half time to come but that's why they're up there they're, they're a good side they're good at what they do so fair play to them just disappointing we couldn't get some out of the game no absolutely so so you've been back for three weeks and yeah. they've won four away games yeah 
What can I say? Yeah, well, I, I think sometimes <laughs> in football, when when confidence is low, you need a couple of bodies to come in, yeah. um, just to kind of motivate the players. Because sometimes players, we, we we can get a little bit comfortable. So, for me, uh, I'm nearly 30 years of age. I'm experienced. Been at the club before, yeah. and all I want to do is win. Um, this club shouldn't be where they are. So I've just come in, tried to motivate the players, give give them. A little bit different, and, and players have responded to that. So fair play to them. No, fair play to you as well. Yeah. Well, look, I'm going to let you get back to the lads. Yeah. Thanks ever so much for your time, and yeah. long may this wonderful yeah. success that you've brought to the club last. Yeah. Uh, no been problem. A pleasure, mate. Appreciate Absolute it. Pleasure. Thanks very much. Cheers. Right. Okay. So I'm joined by Michael, manager of Stockton Town. Um, Two 0 win today, mate. Yeah. <laughs> we've got some st we're going to keep that in by the way German in the committee <laughs> that's the, that's the, go on Stockton Colin I think we're getting a bit of banter there no it's a 2-0 win today yeah uh, pleased with that yeah very pleased especially after we lost the last two so it was a battling performance and we needed that uh, it, was a, it was a good three points yeah the, you came out the blocks like a uh, train I mean mm. that first half an hour I thought you were going to get three or four nil out yeah it's something we worked on during the week our training sessions to have a fast start uh, be a bit more direct now playing and we were we, we, we did do that today and we got our rewards and um, it's a it's a tough place to come pitch is, is not the best you know at this time of year there's a yeah. lot of rain so it was a battle and I think it was something that we needed and it was we, we deserved the three points yeah and obviously Carlton Town coming off the, the I think five away yeah. unbeaten four mm -hmm. of them wins mm -hmm. um, it actually makes this result better than and what maybe every, it looks every team in this league is, is battling for something at the minute yeah. whether that's promotion playoffs staying in the league and Carlton are one of them who are looking to stay in the league and Absolutely. hopefully they do because they deserve it with the with the form they've put on together and they've, they've got a good set of lads there together yeah. and you can see they work for each other so hopefully they, they, they stay in the league So you're third in the league so you, you're mm -hmm. obviously looking for getting in the playoffs Yeah. Um, uh, I believe Workshop already got the promotion Workshop have already uh, been promoted as champions so uh, the, the next four go into the playoffs and uh, if you finish in second or third you get a home leg in the yeah. uh, semi-final so we're Hoping to finish second, so if we did get the final, we'd be at home as well. Brilliant. And how long have you been manager here? I've uh, been uh, manager for nine years, but I've been here for ten years altogether. Quality. So, Quality. Uh, yeah, I yeah. run the. I run the you wouldn't see that in the, no, the no. Eflons of higher than the No, football. well, I was with the under-10s <laughs> this morning as well, coaching them. Oh, were you so really? We oh, well, that, so. you're a credit and non-league. Just like our, one of my first-team coaches, he runs under-11, so... Oh, brilliant. We've, uh, oh, well, you guys, mate, it's non-league day to day, and people like is. you are a credit about, to yeah. it. Yeah, Absolute we credit. enjoy it. And I wish you all the very best Thanks for the rest of the season, mate. Now you do the playoffs. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. Cheers, fella. Thank you. Right, so I'm joined by Mick Caton. How are you? I'm going to give you a big handshake because you're a good friend of proper football. Been on our show a few times. Chairman of Carlton Town. I know it's a loss today against a very good side who look like very much they're going to play a big part in the playoffs. Absolutely. But we've come into this game off of the back of five away games of which you've won four, drawn one. Yeah, we we uh, I think we we drew at uh, Sheffield, then we lost at North our our away record is actually amazing. We we played Mansfield Town in the uh, not Senior Cup semi final, and we, they got five first teamers, in, and we, we oh, thought really? we hadn't got a chance, and we won that. And uh, we just amazing away from home, and not so good at home. Although I did thought I did think we played pretty well today, and, uh, I, and the fans I, I've been speaking to, Mick, will back that up. By yeah, the way. I, th I thought we we could easily have got an equaliser. They started very well. Uh, first 10-15 minutes you saw what a good side they were but we we kept going and I thought as the game wore on I thought you know we, we, Niall Davey had a couple of chances we had a chance right at the, at the end of the first half and uh, he just thought we need to get it over the line yeah. but it was bobbling about and, and, yeah. and, and then obviously Tommy threw everybody forward at the end and, and we got caught with a counter punch but look even though we've lost today the, 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 the spirit I think you see, you'll see in the bar the, yeah. the spirit in the bar is a lot uh, a lot better than it yeah. was uh, after the after recent games where it's felt a bit flat to be honest yeah. and uh, for away game I mean we to be fair after the North Shields game even though we played quite well in that game as well it did feel like a pivotal moment and it did feel as though we were probably going down and look we still could go down don't get me wrong we, 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 we're still in the mix and we've still got a lot of work to do it's it's going to be hard but we've come back from an impossible position well, we've given yeah. ourselves we've given ourselves a fighting chance and uh, I'm obviously proud of the management and the players for you know for turning things oh, around. Credit because, to you, uh, they're credit to you with that. Any so anyway, that's the end of the day for us. Colton losing two nil. Uh, you enjoy your day, mate? Yeah, I had a great day. It's uh, nice to get back to grassroots and 
you know, the atmosphere has been brilliant. Uh, people are so friendly. It, it's, it's, it's what Saturdays is all about, you know, football. Yeah. Uh, it's not just football, it's the social before and afterwards. And I've got to say, Carlton Town have made me feel very welcome. Oh, it's been brilliant, yeah, mate. Been yeah. Your Q and A was brilliant as well as as people have seen. Um, but Carlton Town, hopefully, they're going to stay up. You know, they've lost today to a really, really good side uh, who look like they're going to push in the playoffs. So, uh, all in all, a good day and a good day for non-league football. Yeah, they've just you know sometimes when you're at the bottom of the league, you you know you're playing the top teams. Uh, you're not, you expect this, he's not there, but you just got to make sure that you win the games that you should be winning. Yeah. Um, so, uh, good luck to Carlton Town. Let's hope that they yeah. stay up and we'll have another away day Absolutely. soon. Absolutely, and good luck to Stockton, who uh, hopefully going to get in the playoffs. Back Bye. in the young days. There you go. There, yeah, look. Back in the young days. There we are. He was signing photographs, <laughs> people. He was signing photographs. Fair play. Fair play. Anyway, we'll catch you all Monday night this week, by the way. Uh, what are we doing? Seven o'clock Monday, Nigel? Seven o'clock Monday, yeah, that sounds good for me. Good. See you later. Bye. The Proper Football Live Show, Sundays at 6pm for your football fix on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and PF Radio. Check out our website at properfootball.co.uk.